Uh, hey guys, uh, thanks for rejoining me here uh, for the second half of the um, lesson. So let's continue here. They're still in the helicopter. Okay, so as you remember, uh, Spencer just pushed Fridge out of the helicopter. Uh, and the idea you'll see, right, is the albino rhinos will uh, chase Fridge and leave the jewel alone. So then uh, Spencer can take the jewel. So, so cool, right? Spencer has a plan and, um, you know, he's, his plan is to kill Fridge uh, so he can get the jewel. Then, of course, everyone after they die drops out of the sky. And then, uh, you know, he wants him to fall into the helicopter, right? So the helicopter has to turn on its side. So he tells Alex to do that. So quite, you know, quite clever, quite smart. So everyone's saying, you were good. No, you were good. And then, uh, <laughs> and Fridge is like, wait a minute. What about me? Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm the one that was... So he says, I'm the one that was a human sacrifice. So you know this word sacrifice? Um, sort of like you uh, give yourself up for some reason. So sacrifice... Um, an act of slaughtering an animal or a person or surrendering a possession as an offering to a deity. Um, so actually here, give up something for the sake of other consideration. So for some reason, you're, you know, uh, giving up someone, in this case, uh, Fridge's life. <laughs> so the human sacrifice? You don't know what's on the underside of those rhinos. So Fridge is saying um, on the underside of the uh, rhino, so the bottom part of the rhino is really disgusting. I've seen a lot of things. Dumped them on my face too. Things that I will never be able to erase from my memory. <laughs> oh, that's funny when you got it. Go ahead. Wrap it up. Get it out. <laughs> Guys. I've been trying to get across this canyon for like 20 years, okay? Do you realize how huge this is? Let's kill. If you remember uh, Alex's weaknesses, so one weakness is mosquitoes. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know what that means. No, no, no. Alex, no, 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 no. Uh, Alex. Alex, no. Alex, talk to me. Alex, wake up. Here we go. He's dying. No, we can't let him die. We're too close. Does anyone know how to do CPR? Uh, yeah, start with three chest compressions and knock him out. Three, two, three. How do I do this? Okay, pinch his nose. So you guys know CPR, right? CPR here. So CPR means cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Too hard to say that, right? Just say CPR. So it's this thing where, you know, you push on the person's chest or something. So life-saving technique that's useful in many emergencies, such as heart attack or near drowning, in which someone's breathing or heartbeat has stopped. So you're trying to make them breathe again, get their heart going again. 
again. So we always see this, and uh, Spencer knows how to do it. So he's telling Bethany how to do this. To open his mouth, full lip lock. Uh, one breath, two breath, then repeat. So as you can see, right, <laughs> uh, Bethany is saving Alex's life. And by doing that, she's losing her life or one of her lives. So she has two lives. So she's losing one to give Alex his life. So pretty cool, right? The game can do this too. I'm okay with that. What if you need it for yourself? I want Alex to come home too. So we can see Bethany is actually very nice, right? She's a nice person. Situation. Oh my god, these things are crazy. So, uh, so uh, Bethany um, got sexually excited, so that makes uh, the penis of this guy go up. So that's what that is. sitting in my hideout, too afraid to finish the game. Sorry. I don't need to lay this on you. I'm, I'm just... You're really easy to talk to. No, I get it. I mean, sometimes it's easy to get so focused on your own stuff that you forget other people have problems, too. Thanks. I I feel like ever since I lost my phone, my other senses have kind of heightened. The phone. <laughs> so uh, Bethany is saying after she lost her phone, her other senses have heightened. So she's sort of, you know, basically um, kind of smarter with other things. Uh, and Alex says, does phone mean something different in the future? So that's true, right? Because now phones do a lot of stuff. Um, 20 years ago, phones, you know, phone is just for talking, right? But now it's for many, many things. So, yeah. It's going to be different in the future. What about you, Alex? What are you like in the real world? What's your vibe? So what's your vibe? Vibe is kind of like a feeling or style here. I mean, style. Vibe, person's emotional state or atmosphere of a place as communicated, felt by others. So yeah, basically, yeah, what's your style? It's for the, or what are you about? She wants to know more about him here. Full on metalhead. So he says he's a metalhead. So metalhead uh, means you like uh, heavy metal music. So metalhead, fan, uh, performer of heavy metal music. So he loves heavy metal music. You guys know heavy metal music? You can listen to that if you want to. A very heavy style. I've 
drummer, like my dad. Glad you're here. I uh, <clears throat> I have something to tell you. Yeah. And I want to tell you now, just in case the next time that 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 we talk, I'm no longer brave. I like you, Martha. I like you. I like you. So that's pretty funny, right? I like like you. <laughs> so uh, we can say like. To have sort of no meaning right so we use it like uh see i just like 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 just like uh something like that so we use this word a lot and it can just have no meaning so it means you're just thinking right like uh something like that like i'm fully, I'm fully into you that means i like you completely so fully is like completely, totally. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, I completely like you. You are? I am. And I have been. Since like the seventh grade. Really? Wowza. I don't think this has ever happened before. What do you mean? Uh, what I mean is, uh, like, I don't think anyone's ever liked me, but I, I, I can't believe I'm doing this. I, I never tell anyone how I feel. I'm into you too, Spencer. So she also likes Spencer, yay. <laughs> so that's very lucky and <laughs> uh, that's great. So they both like each other. You are? Yes, yes! <laughs> God, you're smart and sweet and cute. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty into you. <laughs> Sure, it's, it's, it's not because of like all of what? Oh my god, no, no, that is not my type. <laughs> so she's uh, she says that's not my type. She's not into muscle guys, she doesn't really like muscle guys. She likes nerds, right? So a nerd is someone uh, usually who you know likes school, they like to um, you know go to class, learn, and, and they're good students. Right, so usually smart. So if you're a smart person who's a good student, then you're uh, you're a nerd. I'm into nerds. Really? I'm a nerd. <laughs> um. Wow, so they're not good at kissing. Very bad at kissing. That was, I, I was so awesome. I've never, like I've never kissed you. No. Never. That was the first time. I have never. Oh, you have? No. Okay, cool. Can't tell, right? <laughs> oh, come on, hey! I don't want to see that. I don't, not today. Are you down here professing your love for one another? I found his address. Let's go. Okay, so uh, <laughs> so there we go. That's the end of this part. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please do the questions now, and uh, you can send me or post the questions um, as, as you did last week. Uh, post those again. Great. Thanks a lot, and have a good day.